And entering the countdown at number 35, here's this week's highest debut. It's the first top 40 hit for singer-songwriter Mark Cohen. This is called Walking in Memphis. Put on my blue suede shoes and I boarded the plane. I'm Casey Kasem, counting down the biggest hits in the USA. Now, here's a singer-songwriter whose wife, Jennifer, is expecting the birth of their first baby this week. Rising four notches to number 27, Papa to be Mark Cohen with his first hit, Walking in Memphis. W.C. Handy, won't you look down over me? Hi, it's Mark Cohen. Don't even think of leaving now. American Top 40 with The Shadow is coming right back at you. Casey's Top 40. I'm Mark Elliott sitting in for Casey Kasem. We're counting down the biggest hits in the USA. Now, we're up to the song Walking in Memphis, the first hit for a man who got his big break walking around his junior high school singing songs by Rod Stewart. His name is Mark Cohn, and Mark grew up in Cleveland, one of the most rock and roll obsessed cities in America. It's not for nothing that Cleveland was picked as the home for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And it's not for nothing that Mark Cohn grew up in Cleveland loving rock. Mark was the youngest of four boys, every one of whom dreamed of being in a band. In fact, Mark was taught to play piano by one of his older brothers who had a band that practiced in the Cone family basement. As Mark grew up, rock became his life, too. He was so involved with music that he'd walk around the halls of his junior high school singing songs from his favorite albums. He went through a Van Morrison period, and after that, he got completely hooked on Rod Stewart. That was back in the early 70s during Rod's Every Picture Tells a Story period. Mark could sing that entire album from cover to cover. And it was while he was walking through his junior high one day singing Maggie May that Mark was overheard by the younger brother of a guy in a local group called Donebrook Hotel. The kid told his brother about this crazy guy in his school who could really sing good. And the group invited Mark to drop on by and do a little singing with them. They liked Mark and hired him, and he sang with that band through high school, working clubs all over the Cleveland area. And after college, he devoted most of his time to singing and songwriting. This week, the man who used to sing Rod Stewart songs while he walked down the corridors in junior high is singing his own song on Casey's Top 40. Rising two notches to number 13, here's Mark Cohn with Walking in Memphis. There's a pretty little thing waiting for the king down in the jungle room. These are the week's hottest hits exploding in the Billboard chart. The first hit for this next artist conjures up all sorts of images. Elvis, the early rock and roll sounds of Sun Records, blues on Beale Street, and a whole lot more. Walking in Memphis is at number 16 this week on American Top 40, and Mark Cohn told us the real inspiration behind his song. It all started with his own personal pilgrimage. It came from a trip that I took down there. I initially went because I'd heard Al Green was a preacher there, and he'd always been a, an amazing singer to me and somebody said you know you can go to this church on a Sunday morning and he'll be there singing with a gospel choir so I got on a plane and saw Al Green and heard him sing and also just saw and heard a lot of other amazing musicians and met some great people and that song hopefully depicts just some of the elation I felt when I was there um, there's so much history in that town and as a musician, it's it's kind of hard to be in that place and not be sort of swept off your feet. When I was walking in Memphis, I was walking with my feet ten feet off a beam. Casey's Top 40. Well, now we're up to the song Walking in Memphis by the musician who provided the entertainment at the wedding of the daughter of the 35th president of the United States. John F. Kennedy. As a rule, once a musician begins to make it, playing at a wedding, a birthday party, or a bar mitzvah isn't exactly the career move of choice. But when you're invited to be the prime performer at the wedding of Caroline Kennedy, no is certainly not one of your options. That was what happened to singer-songwriter Mark Cohen a few years ago when Caroline Kennedy married Edward Schlossberg at the family compound in Hyannisport, Massachusetts. At the time, Mark was leading a 14-piece band with a five-man horn section. The band was called The Supreme Court. The band had a big following in New York City. And at one of their shows at the China Club, Carly Simon was in the audience. She was knocked out by the group and its big sound. And since she was a friend of the Kennedys, she suggested to Jackie Onassis that the Supreme Court might be just the right group to hire for the wedding of a former president's daughter. 
Well, over the next few weeks, various members of the family scouted the group, and they finally approached their leader, Mark Cohen, and made an offer. Mark says he had two immediate thoughts. One was that he didn't do weddings. The other was that you don't turn down the Kennedys. And so during the reception following Caroline's wedding, it was Mark Cohen and the Supreme Court that provided the entertainment. And what are his memories of the gig? Well, Mark says, quote, there was a lot about that experience that I absolutely cherish. Just being around the Kennedys, if you're an American, is like being around mythology. This week, the man who played the wedding where Caroline Kennedy walked down the aisle walks up a notch to number 12 on KZ South 40. Forget walking. Mark Cohen is probably floating in Memphis right about now. He recently received seven nominations for the 1991 New York Music Awards. Among them, Debut Artist of the Year, Song of the Year, and Songwriter of the Year. Casey's Biggest Team. Five years ago this week, one of the biggest hits in the USA was Walking in Memphis by the singer who won the 1991 Grammy for Best New Artist. He beat out Boys to Men, Color Me Bad, and Seal to do it. 1991 was the year that Natalie Cole took home Grammys for Record of the Year and Song of the Year for Unforgettable. It was the year that Michael Bolton won for When a Man Loves a Woman, Bonnie Raitt won for Something to Talk About, and R.E.M. won for Losing My Religion. And it was the year that a newcomer named Mark Cohen won over several acts who went on to major stardom in the years to follow. In the category of Best New Artist, he was up against Boys to Men, Color Me Bad, and Seal, along with the CNC Music Factory. When the dust cleared, it was Mark Cohen who was holding the statuette. And it was this song, along with an impressive debut album and lots of critical praise, that helped him get it. A song that was one of the biggest hits in the USA five years ago this week. Here's Mark Cohen with Walking in Memphis. Put on my blue suede shoes and I boarded the plane Touched down in the land of the Delta Blues In the middle of the pouring rain Casey's Coast to Coast